Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to write our own custom rule, so which will be useful to our application, okay, which we cannot find it in the outside world. Now, in order to write our own rule, so for example, what I can say is, so here you are able to see the rules, right? ESLint RC, these are all the rules we are able to see, right? So in the same scenario, okay, in the same scenario, we will try to write our own rule. I will try to create our own rule and we will try to add it here. Now, if you try to see here, for developing a custom rule, so for developing a rule, we need to follow some standards, okay? So first, when you want to, what I can say, when you want to submit it to the ESLint documentation or when you want it to do means, so you need to follow these all steps, okay? So you need to create a folder, okay, with the, with what I can say, with the rule name and you need to have a folder, something like lib slash rule and you need to have another one, test slash lib slash rules directory and also doc slash rule so that it, it, it represents about the documentation of that one okay so like this you will be having a some basic format we will not go inside that documentation that formats how to maintain these all things first uh, let's learn about the core of this one how we can write the rule now here if you try to see here they are showing they are showing the source format so how the format should be here if you try to see module.export so whenever we want to use a file in another file in another file means so we need to export that one so here you are able to see the module.export and this entire thing is an object based only so you will be having something like object only first one you will be able to see the meta okay so meta is nothing but what i can say is it represents about what is our rule is about so what the, our rule represents so here you can tell that is it is a type of suggestion problem or here you will be able to see the type means it is having it can be either problem suggestion or layout suggestion means something like best practices problem means so it could be a resolved into a problem layout means so something like styling now you can mention the docs, docs means nothing but so it is a recommended or not category. So these all the things are comes under the about the explanation what is the rule is about. Okay. So now next one comes the create. So this is the function where it will be executed. Okay. So create is a function and it will take the context. We will learn about this context. What is the context you will be able to learn. So the context is nothing but the code, entire code you will be having. And here you need to return an object. Okay. You return an object and here you will be having a functions. So these functions we will try to write it so those, those functions can be something like what i can say is this create is a function okay so it contains so while traversing the abstract syntax tree okay it calls to the visit nodes while traversing the abstract syntax tree okay so now let's try to see this one for example here you'll be able to see <coughs> written statement so function expression exit array expression exit so these are all the expressions so function call expression we have seen right call expression function expression so these are the things so which we can use it so now so these are things so if you go on so these are all the things you'll be able to understand so we will cover the main things how can we write the rule so like this we will cover the main things first one what we will try to do is for example this is our project right now here in order to write the rules so these rules can be useful for our application right so here i will be creating a folder something like here i am creating a rules folder okay so let's create the rules folder so now what is the rule we want to write it so for example we have a file something like okay uh, get payments okay get payments.js file so we have a js file let's assume that we are having get payments.js file so now in this get payments.js file let's assume that we are having function get payments okay so now here in this get payments we are writing some code is there so we are writing one let's assume now here i am calling this method get payments that's it so now you need to understand that here so when we are developing an application going on going on application so now you need to restrict the developers not to use this get payments you need to tell that this get payments method is deprecated so use instead of using this get payments method use another one something like get latest payments okay so something like uh, you have another method something like function uh, get latest payments okay you have a, another method something like get payments method so you can return something like latest payments here so now you so as your project is where your application is developed by so many members now in order to get the payments they will be calling that get payments okay get payments they will be calling that but you know that now uh, you want to make the developers know that that is a deprecated method so you don't don't use this get payments instead of use the get latest payments you want to throw in warning or an error okay so you do need to tell that get payments is deprecated use get latest payments instead so like that you need to throw an error so now how can we write a rule for this one so now let's 
right right yeah here i am creating something like find payments okay something like you know whatever thing you're doing you think so i am creating a rules so in that rules i am creating a file get payments uh, sorry find payments in this file find payments let's try it right module dot exports okay so module dot exports is called here so first we need to write the meta and all those things so this is all related to the what we can say about the project about the rules explanation so i am not writing this meta and all those things so if you want to write a rule that you want to share it to the public uh, to the eslint configuration means so you need to follow this all the rules and regulations of developing a rule okay so now let's try to understand the inner core so now what i need to do so here we will be having a create function okay so this one will return a context okay so now you need to return an object okay so this create will return an object now you know that so what is the thing you need to check here i need to check get payments so this is a call expression same thing like if you go to the ast explorer so if you try to see get payments if i try to write the method okay so you'll be able to understand that this is a call expression okay okay this is a call expression now you, what you need to write is in the rules okay in the rules whenever a call expression comes so whenever you are traversing the method okay when you are traversing the code whenever a call expression comes okay so this is the method now this one will return a node node is nothing but what i can say is here this is the node okay so you will be able to see dollar node here so this is the node okay so whenever you are uh, whenever you get a call expression so this is the node you are able to get a node here and this node what you can see is so in this node you will try to check the callee okay the callee so in this call expression callee dot name okay callee dot name callee dot name is equal, is equal to get payment so that means what i can write here if node dot callee dot name is equal to is equal to get payments okay if it is a get payments so now if you get a node dot callee dot name is a get payments call expression means it, every time it will execute so this call expression will execute for each line whenever a call expression is handed okay so now the call expression so now it will check for the call ex inside this call expression callee dot name so when this callee dot name comes okay is equal is equal to get payments you need to report so context dot report you will be having a method something like context dot report so here you need to mention so what is the error you want to mention so here you will be able to see so context dot report you will be have you will be able to have this one context dot get scope yeah context dot report so this is the how you will be mentioning yeah okay let's copy this one and let's paste it here context dot report so you are passing the node and here you need to write get payments is deprecated okay use get latest payments okay so this is the thing i want to throw an error now okay fine so now our rule is completed now let's try to add it so now here i am clearing out this one all so let's clear it out now what i want to do so I, let's try to run this npm run lint okay so i am running the npm run lint let's try to run this npm run lint so what will happen so it is trying to execute so let's see what it what will happen let's try to see now it is telling that roots.js is using line breaks to be lf but found ca but found crs up okay these all things we can fix it get latest payments is defined but never used get latest payments okay fine that method is used but never used okay strings must use single quotes okay now here rules dot find payments see here you are able to see that js rules that so we don't want this rules folder to be applied eslint to be applied so now what we need to do so we need to exclude this rules folder why because these rules folder are created by us so we need to exclude it so now what i can do here so what i will try to do is let's go to the here and i can create a new file something like dot eslint ignore okay <clears throat> eslint ignore if i create eslint ignore so just like git ignore you will be having this eslint ignore and in this files whatever the folders you will mention in this file so those all things will be ignored from the eslint rules so now i want to get j slash rules to be include uh, to be ignored now let's try to save it so now let's go here and let's try to run npm run lint okay 
if I try to see, if I try to run npm run lint, now here you will be able to see that still we are able to see JSL is fine payments, right? So, why, how come this is ES lint ignore? Okay, fine, correct only. Oh, I have created outside, so I need to create inside, right? So, I have created outside. So we need to create create inside this project. I have created actually outside. This is the project actually. So inside this one, the ESLint ignore should be inside this one. So now I have added inside this one. Now let's try to run it again. So if I try to run it again, ESLint, npm run lint. Let's try to see what will happen. Now we are getting, so now we are able to get only rules folder has been eliminated. So now it's, it has been excluded. Now we have got these things right. So now what I will try to do is npm run lint type and fix. So let's try to fix these errors. So most of the things are all fixed but here we are able to see that get latest payments is defined but never used. Okay for the time being what we will try to do is in the get payments I will try to uh, what I can say I will try to comment it out so that we will use these get payments. Now what I will try to do is, so here if I try to again, if I try to execute the npm run lint, let's try to see what is the things which will come. Now here you are able to see that ES lint has passed, but now we need to know that get payments, we are using this get payments, it should throw an error. We have written the rule, right? Now what we need to do is, we need to add this rule in the ES lint rc.json. Now here what I can do, so just the name of the file. So find hyphen payments, okay, this is the rule and here I can write something like error. So we, as we are not passing any errors, we can do like this and here it should be in double quotes, sorry. So this should be in the double quotes, okay, done. Now let's go and let's try to run the lint. So what will happen? Let's try to see. Now we are getting an error that definition for rule find payments was not found. Yeah, okay, fine. This is the, this is the expected problem. Why did, what it is telling is? I am unable to find this uh, rule find payments where I can find this rule. Now these are the custom rules okay we have defined our own rules we are not getting it from the node modules so it will try to search in the node modules actually so it uh, doesn't get uh, it is not able to find this in the node module so what we need to do we need to mention the custom rules our custom rules path also what we need to do is go let's go to the package.json and here we need to tell that so hi, uh, if you go here in this one and if I try to clear it out and if I see eslint hyphen hyphen help, <clears throat> if you try to see eslint hyphen hyphen help, here you will be able to see one method, one option that is nothing but rules directory. You need to mention use additional rules from this directory. So that means if you have any additional rules that you want to apply from your code, you need you can use this hyphen hyphen rules dir. So now what I will try to do here, let's go and here I can apply something like rules dir. And I need to mention j slash rules. Okay. So in the same scenario, while you are trying to fix, you can write the same thing here also. Okay. Now let's try to see whether we can get the error or not. So let's try to clear it out. And we are having npm run lint. Let's try to run the lint. Now this time it is running es lint rules directory is taking. And here you are able to see that get payments is deprecated. Use get latest payments instead. It is coming from the rule find hyphen payments. Fantastic. So first successfully we have applied our custom rule and also we have able to see the error also. Now what I will try to do here. So I will try to I will try to remove this one. So I am not using this get payments. Now let's try to see whether we are able to get the error or not. If you try to run it again, let's try to see whether we are able to get the error or not. Why? Because we have removed these get payments. So now we are not using this get payments method. And now let's try to see. Oh, this is one is not saved or what? Okay, so now here let's try to say run it again. Yeah, okay. So we are getting another error. So it is telling that get payments is defined but never used. No used var, no unused var. It is saying. So now okay, fine. So this is uh, okay, fine. This one is not a problem. So what we can do is so something like ESLint RC dot JSON. No unused vars. So if you want to keep, no, you can keep this one and you can keep it as off so that it will not tell you those. Error. So if you are mentioning, if you are declaring a function and you are not using, so this this is the error. This error is coming from the ESLint recommended. So from the ESLint recommended, you are getting. So now let's try to run it again for the last time. Uh, last time. Now we are able to get this. This custom rule, what we are trying to run, is working. Now if you try to see, now let's try to see whether it will work or not. 
Now see, successfully we are not able to get any errors. So that means get payments, our first custom rule get payments is working. So this is how we will be writing the rules. This is how we will be writing the rules in the no uh, in the ESLint. Hope you understood about this, how, to, how we will be writing the custom rules in the ESLint. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.